If you don't mind, I'd like to make a quick proposition, if you will. You know what the worst part of any unboxing video is? Yeah, it's the unboxing part. I don't know why I've done it in the past. I just feel like that's kind of the thing to do. But every time I watch an unboxing video, I'm like, why am I a grown man watching another grown man open cardboard? So this is the deal. If you subscribe to my channel, you will never, ever have to watch a grown man open cardboard ever again. All right, you ready for the unboxing? There it is. This is the 2020 Epiphone Coronet. I generally get excited over any guitar that exists because electric guitars are the coolest thing of all time. The Epiphone Coronet reissue is one that I was particularly excited about for a couple of reasons. One, it's just such a cool looking guitar. Like I love how it looks. It just like it feels like that late 50s rock and roll thing. And it's just such a cool looking guitar. And the other reason is that Epiphone has really an amazing history. And even though it's obviously been deeply linked and connected to Gibson for the last, what, 60, 70 years, it always bummed me out that Epiphone was just kind of like, oh, they're the, the cheap overseas Gibson version. And with the reissues coming out, I hope that this sort of solidifies Epiphone as kind of its own thing. Now this being a brand new guitar that I've had for 18 hours, I was up quite late playing it, so I'm a little, a little tired this morning. Uh, but what I wanna do today is go over the specs, I'm gonna go over the build quality, the playability, the sounds, and then I'll give my final two cents on it. So let's kick it off with specs and like the end of any good date, We'll start at the neck, work our way down. Now kicking off the entire guitar is that classic bikini logo on the headstock. I love it, I'm so glad they brought that back. I think it looks fantastic. The neck is made of mahogany and the fingerboard is Indian laurel. The tuners on it are the, you know, the classic Glusson style with the ivory buttons. These are branded Epiphone Deluxe. The nut width is 1.69 and even though that, that sounds really, really big, the neck shape itself is like a medium C so it doesn't feel quite as chunky as like say like a 50s, Gibson profile, it's actually really comfortable. The fretboard radius is 12 inches. The scale length is 24.7, so like a little bit shorter than the Gibson scale length. And the, the frets on it, they're supposedly medium jumbo, but they feel a little bit narrow to me to be uh, like really medium jumbo, but that's what they say they have. And working our way down, we have a mahogany body with one pickup in the bridge position. This is the Epiphone P90 Pro dog ear pickup and we'll get to the sounds later, but spoiler alert, it sounds real good. The bridge is a lightning bar wraparound that's intonated, which is really handy. Because there's only one pickup, we just have one set of volume and tone controls and the whole guitar is covered in a gloss poly finish. Okay, let's talk build quality. And while there are a couple minor uh, issues with it that are really quite simple to fix, I'm going to say just straight up that what you can get for $399 anymore is kind of mind blowing. The fit and finish on this guitar is just, surprisingly good. Um, it's annoying actually how good they are because I really love Gibson and even though the whole Epiphone, oh just buy an Epiphone, they're the same, they're not. Um, it's close enough. <laughs> the build quality is really really great. Here are a couple of the issues that I found. One, the fret ends are, are decently sharp. They don't like stick out necessarily but when you play them um, it is it is sharp but again this is a $400 guitar and that's a very easy thing to take care of. Um, when you're playing it, like the fretboard is really, really dry. I don't know, this is like a Gibson and Epiphone thing. Every time I get one, it's like, my God, has anybody like treated the fingerboard ever? Um, for some reason, they're always just so dry. And the frets themselves, they do feel a little bit gritty, but again, you just polish the frets, that's not a big deal. The volume and tone controls are really quite good. Um, the, the tone control has more of a consistent feel to it. And the volume definitely does that thing where when you get to like two, it just shuts off. Um, which honestly isn't super surprising. Uh, the last Epiphone that I had did the, the exact same thing. So if you're handy with guitars, a little bit of time on this and you have a really incredible playing guitar for 400 bucks. All right, let's talk playability because this guitar is so stinking fun to play. The, the weight on it is incredibly light. It's, uh, this one's five pounds, 13 ounces. So very, very light. 
and it doesn't have like a crazy amount of like neck dive or hardly any at all. Like if I balance this, like I can set this here and it doesn't go anywhere. It's a very well balanced guitar, super fun to play. It's also got a great sound just acoustically. Like this $399 guitar has dramatically more sustain and resonance than maybe a different, much more expensive guitar that I also own. And this may shock you, but the G string does not stay in tune very well. <laughs> and now the crucial question is, how does it sound? I'm not gonna lie, really good. If you've watched any of my videos before, you probably know that I love, love, deeply love my Gibson Les Paul Special. And I gotta say, the bridge pickup on this is a little bit more, it has more clarity to it. Those Gibson pickups, they, they do get a little bit muddy at times, even though I love them. It's just, this one has like a clarity to it that I really, really like. Epiphone kind of nailed it with this. Now, in case it's not painfully obvious by now, my final two cents, my final thoughts on this guitar is that it's really fantastic. I mean, for $399, just how fun it is to play, how great it sounds, how surprisingly versatile it is, even though it's only a one pickup guitar, it's just so much fun to play. I think it's just one of those things where you pick it up and there's no fiddling and futzing about. You just pick it up and you start playing. You can just dive right into the experience. And I personally love that. Now, next week I'll be comparing this guitar to the next model that I have coming. I'm also gonna do some comparisons between these new uh, Epiphone reissues and my Gibson Les Paul Special, which should be uh, interesting to say the least. So stay tuned for that. Now, as always, go play guitar.